Welcome to this tutorial on AliCAD toolbars. If you've not already done so, check out our other tutorials. The number of toolbars available will depend on the application you have selected. If you're on the CAD application, you'll have 18 toolbars, and if you're on the Toolkit application, you'll have 24. The ones that are added are the Architectural, General, Mechanical, Two Survey, and a Structural toolbar. To add or remove toolbars, go to View, Toolbars. Place a tick in the checkbox to add the toolbar, or remove the tick to remove the toolbar from the screen. The Recenter Floating button will be active if the toolbar is sitting off the screen. This will position the toolbar on the screen. Once you have finished your selection, click Close. The toolbar may then be moved into position. To move a dock toolbar, click on the handle and hold. Move the toolbar. The toolbar will automatically align when positioned against a side. Position the toolbar and let go to insert it. Try to keep the drawing area as big as possible by placing one row of toolbars around the edge of the screen. Only place the ones you use often. You will notice some of the icons have a little black triangle in the bottom corner. This shows that they are flyout toolbars. You can select if you would like a left click and hold flyout option or a right click option. This selection may be made when installing the software or you could go to settings, system settings, legacy settings and place a tick in the flyout activation option. You need to restart AliCAD for the changes to take place. You can see the shape of the toolbar has changed slightly with the right click flight activation. Select the flight option that suits your drawing style. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Look out for our next tutorial and visit our website to find out more about AliCAD.